We never have been able to talk in depth about black history. Why is that? Why is that question? Why, why is that even a question? All British school kids would benefit. I think it's a great thing you're doing, mate. Yeah. And that's why I'm taking on the government to try and change the law. Why is black history not in the curriculum? Why is it only one month we get to talk about and feel proud about our heritage just for that one month? Now I'm a dad, I want the world to be a better place oh, for my wow. kids. And I'm convinced education is key. Oh, you've got them all now. Learning about black history is vital to change how black people perceive the world and how the world perceives them. They're not doing anything, they're not scary. It might also spare me the parenting traumas my mum went through. The only things I ever really remember from school is slavery. I learned a bit about Martin Luther King, yeah, yeah. Rosa Parks. There was no like depth to that, so it was quite frustrating. The world's moving forward, but school is just staying really stagnant. Yeah, because you're still learning the same kind of history that I learned at school. Mm -hmm. But it, the thing is, the racism and, and that side is not going to start until people learn more and people engage more and people listen more. That is it. I don't want my kids exposed to this age-old ignorance, so I'm determined to change things. I'm meeting an old mate of mine to see if I'm onto something. You know, we we're from different parts, but we're both from England, so how was your education? I still need educating, mm -hmm. if I'm honest with you. Like, I wasn't too savvy. I thought I was street smart. What was those uh, lessons that caught your imagination? Or well, like in history. Any, any subject, like what was that one that got you and like, I can't miss that lesson? Um, none, I wanted to miss all of them. <laughs> <laughs> I used to bunk half of the time, but nah. <laughs> Question I've got for you actually, if you was to have seen more black role models, do you think that would have engaged you more? You feel you would have had a different trajectory at school? Would I have been better off seeing other black faces? Looking at it from a kid's point of view, yeah, 100%. I felt segregated because every time I learn about African culture, it's like, you learn about the negatives. Mm -hmm. So you kind of feel demonized. Like yeah. It would have been important for me to have seen more of the inventors, creators, yeah, yeah. scientists, um, and show people there are other roots. I've learned about Amelia Earhart. You have, the famous mathematician. Catherine Johnson and Ada Lovelace, those are two mathematicians. We always talk to our daughter, Isla, about what she's learning at school and how she's finding it. I can't remember. But because we deeply value the importance of knowing our shared black history, Alicia and I take the lead in making Isla aware of her black cultural inheritance. And what, what about black history? What have you learned in school about black history? I do know about Dina, the famous runner. OK. And then I Where did you learn about Dina? Um, in, so in the Olympics. Yeah, but who taught you at school? No, you said about Dina. Oh, sorry, yeah. Remember, yeah. we're asking you, what did you learn at school? Or did, did you or did you not learn anything at school? We haven't learned about black history in school no. yet. OK. Looking at the history syllabus, throughout the 13 years at school, there are no mandatory black topics, only options. Of the seven optional topics, Mary Seacole is the only one with a remotely British connection. Yet the government is adamant black British history is available on the national curriculum. Spurred on by my supporters, I commissioned a groundbreaking survey of a thousand primary and secondary school teachers. It produced some startling results. Two thirds say they don't feel empowered to teach diverse topics. And that a majority believe the current national curriculum is racially biased. Taken together, the results completely destroy the government's staple argument that black history is available to teach on the national curriculum. The results of the survey shocked and annoyed me. So I'm writing an open letter to Nadim Sahawi, the Secretary of State for Education, to kick off my campaign for change. It details my poor educational experience and the results of my survey and urges him to make the teaching of diverse histories compulsory. My open letter was read and retweeted countless times, and the attached petition, which asks for the teaching of diverse histories and experiences to be made mandatory, is rapidly picking up thousands of signatures. Sent out the open letter, and uh, 
to our great surprise, we got a, a lovely response straight away from Nadim Sahawi. And uh, on that tweet, he's put, Troy, thank you for raising this important issue. It would be good to discuss this with you. And I will ask my team to reach out. There is a little bit of cynical Troy that kicks in and says, I hope this isn't a PR stunt on his behalf to try and make out like he wants change, but doesn't. Because I think in that regard, he's picked the wrong guy. If I'm here for solutions and I'm give, bringing solutions, so hopefully we can get some positivity out of it. Oh, OK. I started my journey with an ambition to get black history cemented on the English national curriculum. Wish me luck. Good luck. You got this. Bye, Dad. I was granted a meeting with a man who can make my dream a reality. Seventh floor. Nadim Zahawi, the Secretary of State for Education. Busy, my son is a big fan of yours. We'll talk about bringing the I feel my whole journey has been leading to this point. It wasn't possible to film my chat, but I'm very pleased to say Mr Zahawi said he was keen to work with me. He said he wants his department to reshape the way history is taught going forward. And he has asked me to be part of the process. I wasn't expecting to walk in and it's like, right, it's all done and we move forward, but Really happy, really infused. Just have to keep working. We have to hold Mr. Zahawi and his team to uh, continue this relationship. I think we can have some serious change, not only for, for our generation, but for generations to come.